Today we are coming at you from Saguaro National Park. And today we are going to give you seven tips that we have learned on this bus life journey. <laughs> it's only been about a week, um, but there's quite a bit that we've learned so far and we wanted to share those with you as we take in this marvelous place. So let's get started. So number one is to help us save a little bit of money, we always get the annual National Park Pass. Last year we went to seven different national parks. This year we're already at number two. We're at Saguaro National Park right now, but for $80 we can go to every national park in the country or you can pay up to, I think, the most we paid per one visit was $35 at the Grand Canyon. Huh? So if you plan on doing a bunch of traveling and you want to take in all the sites, you have to get the National Park Pass. So number two on this lesson that we've learned is to have a plan, whether that's when you're in a national park and you need a map so you can plan out your adventures and what you want to do. Um, for us, when it comes to traveling, it's also important for us to have a plan because we don't want to be zigzagging back and forth to different destinations. We want to have a clear route so we can also save money and get to where we want to go and have a better idea as to what our plans entail. Okay guys, on to number three. Number three is fitness. We take pride in our fitness and our nutrition. Mm -hmm. In traveling full time, it's super easy to stop at gas stations and come out with candy bars and ice cream. Or just lay around and not really want to do a whole lot of things. Sure, and fast foods on every street corner. Mm -hmm. We choose to do it a little bit differently. We choose to grab whole foods and cook our meals as much as possible. Now don't get me wrong, we <laughs> like pizza, we like we ice do. cream. Um, but we try to cook and, and do as much of our own meal planning and meal prepping as we can. And with that is also movement. We like to get in a lot of different types of movement. And one of the things that we did is we purchased a gym membership while we travel. So we found that Planet Fitness is a great gym that is nationwide. So you can find a location pretty much anywhere you go. And with that also comes a shower, and if you pay the other, you get the amenities of a spa, tanning, whatever your, your little heart desires. Um, but sometimes we don't just enjoy the gym, we like to be outdoors in nature, which so is this, what we're doing now. Yeah, so this morning we took off on a hike. We're both still a little sick. We were both just coughing <laughs> as we are in elevation mm -hmm. and it is uh, like a dry heat here. Um, but we took off on a little hike this morning to get our movement in, get our exercise in, and we ended up getting to see some Petroglyphs? Yes. So let's have a look. And if that ain't enough to make us want to keep fit and eat healthy, I don't know what else. I is. don't know what else is. I'm out of here. So number four on our list, and it's truly what we've appreciated the most about traveling, is relationships. We clearly were in Saguaro National Park and met some friends in a Volkswagen van and they were having some car troubles. So we ran to town, which is about three miles away, no harm, no foul, grabbed them a few jugs of antifreeze and we're gonna take them back to them now and you know, see where it goes. But the key is, is that the people, the relationships, the helping others, spreading love is truly what a lot of this is about. Absolutely. I love this. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Let's get them some antifreeze.
as we pull in for the night to get a good spot, we also are very understanding that each one of us has our own personal needs too for ourselves. And so sometimes, especially like for sleeping wise, I'm an early bird and Tanya likes to stay up a little bit later. So that time actually gives us a little bit of our own time, a little bit of our own privacy. I wake up about an hour before she does. I'm able to get some reading in, some prayer, some meditation, and then I go to bed about an hour earlier than she does. And that's when she's able to read or pray or meditate. But we also have a few things of our own that we like to do. And one of the things that I like to do is to longboard or skateboard. And so oftentimes I will just jump on my skateboard and rip around and let her kind of do her thing in which I'm gonna let her explain. But another cool feature of the bus is the rooftop deck in which it does give us a little extra privacy and a little extra space. If one of them's inside cooking or something, the other one can be outside on the deck or, you know, obviously nature is our friend. So we try to use that space as well so that we can still be together, but each one of us still gets a little bit of our own time. Mention is that we each like to have our own separate thing that way we can kind of just get a little time to ourselves and one of the things that I like to do is draw which I am drawing up this beautiful picture right now and I also do a lot of the video editing and try to use my artistic abilities to let my uniqueness shine and so that is one of the things that I like to do make sure that I'm getting some nice outdoor air and getting my artistic style on. Number six. Number six is experiences. Tanya and I travel a ton, but a lot of times we're in such a hurry and such a go, go, go that we forget to kind of take in some of the extra experiences. So as we're taking in this national park today, we're stopping for the little roadside attractions <laughs> that we don't ever experience. Some of the things that we would normally just pass by because we would say, well, we have other things on the list that we want to do that that's not important and we're in such a hurry. So learning to stop and taking the experiences and truly enjoy the whole entire thing is what it's about. Yeah, because let's face it, that's what we built this life for. Deardrop. Swap hands. Swap hands. You got some crappy cards. One of the things, number six on our list, is to have fun. No one gets out of this life alive. And that was a lot of what charged our wanting to travel now and seeing the things that we want to see and doing the things that we want to do mm -hmm. is I want to have fun now. I want to see the things I want to see. I want to do the things I want to do. But in order to do that, we had to commit to having fun. For sure. It's so easy to get caught up in the daily stresses of life and paying the bills and going to work and all of the things that sometimes we just need to learn to stop and have fun. Play a good game of Uno. Uh, all right, and for a bonus, number eight is to document where you have been. So Dustin and I, everywhere we go, we spend a couple extra dollars to get some stickers to add to our wonderful wall collection of all the places we have been. And then we add our stickers. That way we can document our travels and keep track of all the places we go. We hope that you guys enjoyed these eight lessons that we have learned over the course of the first week of living bus life. It's been fun. It has been fun. It's been a little challenging with being sick, but mm. we've managed to make it through and we will continue to do so. And we will continue to bring you guys along. We thank you for your support. Mm -hmm. We appreciate each and every one of you. And if you are on the path and want to meet us, 
Make it happen. Make it happen. We would love to meet up with each and every one of you. With that, if you like this video, give it that thumbs up. Share some love in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from us two as we continue this journey down the road, traveling along, meeting all of you fantastic people. And next week, we have a huge surprise for you. Yes. So with that, spread love. <laughs>